Hey guys, welcome back. I thought I was done with Antiki 2, but I woke up in the morning and decided I wanted to try the Orient board. Now I got it laid out here, a little bit better organized this time. I got Barbarians over here, Roma in blue, Egypt in red, and Persia over here in black. So that corresponds to the board. The Barbarians started up here in Europe proper. Rome over here, hanging around Italy and the Mediterranean. Egypt, of course, down here in North Africa. And Persia starting over here in Turkey and, and spreading, well, spreading throughout Turkey. Now, it's been a four-player game and it's been very balanced. You can see right now, everyone's within a two-point range. Roma just spread out into the sea and is making a tactical push in the Mediterranean. He's been battling with the barbarians up here in Europe. He's pretty much gonna let them have some of this area in Northern Europe, and he's gonna focus more on expansion into the sea. Egypt has been strong making temples down here, but is kind of getting cornered in between Roma's sea advance and the Persians. But basically there's gonna be a battle in the middle of the board here around Greece eventually. And he's also trying to keep, Persians are also trying to keep um, keep the Egyptians pinned in here, although they might be making a little push. And Persia's also looking in the Caspian area here to get the seventh sea before the barbarians get in there. So it's quite balanced. Um, We've also had a lot of play on the know-how with the knowledge. We got Persia and Egypt getting some extra, being able to exchange their money to swap out resources if they need marble, marble for gold or iron for marble or whatever it is. And we've got the barbarians in Rome getting an extra resource every time they collect from the rondelle. And I've been using the Rondell 100% correctly. Um, of course, you can realize that there's two moves out of the eight, and then the resource collection and its use is on the opposite side of the board. So because of that, they're four spaces apart, so you can't immediately collect the resource, such as iron, and use it for military the next turn. There's at least one turn in the middle. And everyone's on the strata, meaning they get an extra, an extra move instead of just moving one space uh, for each land move. When they choose to do so, they can move two spaces. And uh, Rome's the only one that's gone for the Navigato for the ocean movement. They're making that their forte. So it's beautiful um, layout here on the Orient side, and I really like this four player balance they kind of start out in each quadrant and the three player was kind of Rome was kind of stuck in the middle and I thought that was a little bit unfair for them but um, up here like I got like I said I got everything laid out and divided nicely we got the bank and the resources chips and the temples over here so I'm really enjoying this Orient side, especially getting, getting Egypt and Persia in the mix, and uh, it's just been very well balanced. So, the Orient side of Antique 2. Hey guys, Clumsy Dad. Have a good one. I'll talk to you later.